Now, as a fragrance reviewer, you go through those times when you'll just be sitting around doing absolutely nothing, sitting on your ass all day, and then all of a sudden, you look at your cabinet, and you think to yourself, I'm gonna do a review on a Nassimato fragrance. Hey guys, Matt here, hope you're all doing very well. You heard it guys, I'm gonna talk about another fragrance from Nassimato. Now, before I do review this fragrance, I just wanna say a big thank you to one of my subscribers, Jacques, for sending me a sample of this fragrance. Um, in fact, this isn't the only sample he sent me. He sent me so many samples from Nassimato, uh, Creed, you know, I just wanna say a big thank you, Jacques. You're absolutely awesome. This fragrance that we're gonna talk about is Hindu Grass. Now, I haven't actually worn this fragrance an awful lot. In fact, I haven't actually worn a lot of Nassimato's fragrances since I've received them. Really? Why not? You've got samples of it. You might as well use it up while you've got it. Well, personally, I think it's just because I'm trying to save them as much as I possibly can. This is Hindu Grass. Now, this fragrance is one of Nassimato's favorites. It's not quite up there with, you know, Black Afghan and Blamage, you know, fragrances like that. But this one is really loved in the community. I've noticed there's a lot of positive reviews on this. Now, this fragrance features the notes grass, green notes, tobacco, and patchouli. Now, let's spray this fragrance. And also, guys, just so you know, the perfumer for this scent, Alessandro Gaultieri, who has designed all of the fragrances from this house. I wasn't able to find a year that this was released on, so if any of you guys know when it was released, please do let me know. I would really appreciate that. What does this fragrance smell like? Well, here's what I think it smells like, okay? Now, straight from here, what I'm getting is, to me, <laughs> this could sound really strange to you guys, but to my nose, this fragrance smells like burning grass. Where I live, there's a lot of fields. Whether I'm taking a walk somewhere, or if I'm driving somewhere, whether it's with my family or with my friends, you know, I'll have the window down and you can smell burning smoke with grass in the background, you know, because a lot of farmers in this area like to burn hay and stuff like that. That's what this fragrance reminds me of. It smells very green, very earthy, uh, grassy, no doubt. I mean, grass is in this fragrance, so it makes sense. I mean, Hindu grass, I mean, come on, right? It smells very grassy. It's it's so smoky. It's I think that's where I'm getting that burning sort of smell. But yeah, it's, it reminds me of burning grass. That's what it smells like. Does it smell good, though? <sighs> Without a doubt. This stuff is great. I am getting a bit of that patchouli as well, though. It's like patchouli mixed with the smell of burning grass. You know, that's what I'm kind of smelling. The patchouli, though, smells very, very good. It's like, you know, it's not one of my favorite ingredients, but in this, it smells very high quality. It smells very original. So damn right good. Love it. And I am getting a bit of that tobacco as well. The tobacco smells like pipe smoke. So just, I think the only way I can describe this fragrance in a sentence is it smells like somebody smoking a pipe in the middle of a field, a grassy field, while it's been cut. That's what it smells like to me. That patchouli over the top. I mean, I don't know how I can put patchouli into a story, but yeah, that's literally what it reminds me of. It's very different, a very nice scent. But even though a lot of Nassimato's fragrances feature oud, I am getting oud in this fragrance. I don't know why. A very Middle Eastern oud sort of smell. And I know it's not listed, but it's very, very strong to my nose. Whether or not you guys get oud, do let me know. I get vetiver. I get a lot of vetiver, and I think it's mixing with that grass to give it that earthy sort of smell. But I'm also getting this very peculiar tea sort of note as well. I don't know why, but yeah, like a tea smell. I really, really like it. It's a nice, uh, earthy sort of smell. It is unisex also, guys, just like all of Nassimato's scents. I think there's only like one or two which are for men, just like there is one for women. But most of their fragrances are shared, so... Yeah, this is amazing stuff. I really, really like it. It's, it's a great scent. So, if you are into your earthy, grassy scents, this is a definite one to go for. It just smells fantastic. So guys, thank you so much for watching this review on Nasamato's Hindu Grass. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please let me know what you thought of this video and this fragrance. I dropped it. But yeah, if you guys have enjoyed it, please let me know. And if you've smelled this fragrance, do let me know what you think of it in the comments below and I will get back to you. Now, have a great night, guys. Keep smelling good and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!